Hello everyone, this is the Technodog channel. Today we're going to compare two processors from Intel and check their performance in modern games. The processors are the Intel Core i7-9700K and i7-8700K. On average, the i7-9700K is 10% more expensive. You can check the cost of these processors by following the links in the description under this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you'll always be the first to watch a new video. Let's get started. Both high-end processors belong to the same series of Intel Core processors, the Intel Core i7 line. The i7-8700K has the Coffee Lake architecture, while the i7-9700K is built on a more advanced basis. The Coffee Lake refresh, at the same time, both processors have the same amount of power consumption. It is 95 watts. And the socket, which is LGA1151. In terms of performance and characteristics, the differences are quite interesting. For example, the 8700K has 6 cores and 12 threads while the 9700K has 8 cords and only 8 threads. In the Turbo Boost test, the 9700K was 200 Hz faster than the older model. It is worth paying attention to the K index at the end of the processor name. This means that these processors have an unlocked multiplier, and they can be overclocked. The cache of the first, second and third levels is larger at the 9700K, but they both have the same 14 nanometer process. Six cores with a high clock frequency and with the appropriate graphics card are usually enough for a comfortable FPS in modern games, even at ultra-high graphics settings. Sometimes there is a certain margin of performance. Therefore, there is no doubt about the capacity of eight core processors. On the other hand, the 9700K lacks the hyper-threading technology and it only has eight threads against 12 threads of the older model. Let's see how these details affect their performance in games. Let's have a look at the game tests. We're going to launch games at the maximum graphics settings, and the processors will work the ASUS ROG Maximus XI Hero motherboard and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. Assassin's Creed Origins is an action-slash-RPG game from Ubisoft which was released in the fall of 2017. Despite the high resource consumption of this game, both processors did an excellent job. The average FPS in full HD resolution was 108 frames at the 8700K and 115 frames at the 9700K. In 4K resolution, both processors showed the same result, 65 FPS. The difference in processor performance wasn't that noticeable. By the way, don't forget that you can find out all the current prices for these processors by clicking on the links in the description that I left specifically for you. Far Cry 5 is a first-person shooter game with action-adventure elements from Ubisoft, which was released in 2018. The action takes place in Montana, Hope County. The protagonist is a sheriff's assistant, who by chance engages in an unequal confrontation with the Doomsday Cult. Both models showed excellent performance. There were no serious drawdowns. The FPS did not fall below 65 in 4K resolution, and the average number was 73 frames. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is another part of the popular series about the adventures of Laura Croft developed by the Canadian studio Eidos Montreal. It was released in September 2018. This time, the Tomb Raider is in search of an artifact. She finds herself on a mysterious Mexican island, where she has to face many difficulties, confront dangerous enemies, and once again, try to save the world from imminent death. As previously, the processors demonstrate the same high FPS. They were really close to each other. There were 150 frames in Full HD resolution and 61 frames in 4K. K 
Kingdom Come Deliverance is a single-player role-playing game from the Czech studio Warhorse Studios, which was released by Deep Silve in 2018. The key feature of the game is that you can feel historical authenticity on the maximum. The player has the opportunity to completely immerse himself in the unique atmosphere of the Kingdom of Bohemia, study architecture, weapons, detailed recreated clothing, the social structure of the medieval Czech Republic, here, the 9700K has a slight advantage over the older model, but even here the difference is insignificant. Only 8% in full HD resolution. In 4K, both processors work well. Another project of the Ubisoft company is Watch Dogs 2, which was released at the end of 2016. This is an adventure thriller in which a player can break in and hack in a well-designed world, open for detailed exploring. Here, the situation is not different from the previous tests. The FPS gap is minimal. There isn't any effects on the multi-stream of the 8700K, as well as the advantage of the 9700K in clock frequency. In short, the lack of hyper-threading in the 9700K doesn't really matter for games. It can be important in video editing, 3D rendering, and other professional tasks. But this technology does not really affect gaming performance. Keep in mind that the hyper-threading affects the processor, so the temperature and power consumption increase. On the other hand, the 9700K is a budget option for the 8-core Intel processor. Though the lack of support for hyper-threading technology makes it approximately equal to the 6-core 8700K in terms of performance. Moreover, the price difference between them is only 10%. Is it worth saving and buying the 8700K or buying the new and slightly more efficient 9700K? Well, it's up to you. This is the end of our video. I have to say it was quite interesting comparing these processors. Keep in mind that these processors can be overclocked, so you can always increase their performance, so the results would be different. What do you think? Which processor is better and why? Write your opinion in the comments below. I always read them, and they often give me ideas for the next videos. Well, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and like this video. See you next time on the Technodog channel. Bye!